of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh to the firstborn of the captive maidservant in the mill and to the cattle. And this is the sign which the Lord gave them into every house on the lentils of which they saw the blood of the lamb of the first year into that house. They should not enter to slay, but should pass by it, that all should be saved that were in the house because of the sign of the blood was on its lentils. A horizontal support of timber, stone, concrete, or steel across the top of the door. Okay, so that's like a, uh, like a header. Okay, and the powers of the Lord did everything according as the Lord commanded them. And they passed by all the children of Israel. And the plague came not upon them to destroy from amongst them any soul, either of cattle or man or dog. And the plague was very grievous in Egypt. And there was no house in Egypt where, the, where there was not one dead and weeping and, and lamentation. And all Israel was eating the flesh of the Paschal lamb and drinking the wine as it was lauding and blessing and giving thanks to the Lord their power for, for of their fathers who was ready to go forth from under the yoke of Egypt and from and from the evil bondage. Let me see something real quick. Lauding. Praise a person or their achievement highly in a public context. Uh, so they was applauding, they were celebrating, praising the Lord, and eating lamb and drinking the wine and celebrating because they knew it was going down. He says, uh, and was ready to go forth from under the yoke of Egypt and from the evil bondage. And remember thou this day all the days of thy life, and observe it from year to year all the days of thy life. Once a year on this day, on its day, according to all the law thereof, and do not adjourn uh, it from day to day or from month to month. For it is an eternal ordinance and engraven on the heavenly tablets regarding all the children of Israel that they should observe it and every, observe it every year on its day once a year throughout all their generations and there is no limit of days for this is the this is ordained forever and the man who is free from uncleanness and does not come to observe it on occasion of its day so as to bring an acceptable offering before the lord and to eat and to drink before the Lord on the day of its festival, that that man who is clean and close at hand shall be cut off, because he, has, he, because he offered not the oblation of the Lord in its appointed season. He shall take the guilt upon himself. It says, let the children of Israel come and observe the Passover on the day of its fixed time, on the fourteenth day of the first month, between the evenings from the third part of the day to the third part of the night, for two por portions of the day are given to the light, and the third part to it to the evening. This is that which the Lord commanded thee that thou shouldst observe it between the evenings, and it is not permissible to slay it during any por period of the light, but during the period bordering on the evening. And let them eat it at the time of the evening until the third part of the night. And whatever is left over of all its flesh from the third part of the night and onwards, let them burn it with fire. And they shall not cook it with water, nor shall they eat it raw, but roast on the fire. They shall eat it with diligence, its head with its inwards thereof. And its feet they shall roast with fire, and shall not break any bone thereof. For of the children of Israel no bone sh shall be crushed. Okay, so these is the details, and this is in line with, with, with uh, what it's talking about in Exodus. Just a little more detail. It says, but on the day of its festival, let it be observed. And do thou command the children of Israel to observe the Passover, Passover 
throughout their days every year, once a year, on the day of its fixed time. And it shall come for a memorial well pleasing before the Lord. And no plague shall come upon them to slay or smite them in the year in which they celebrate the Passover and its seasons in every respect according to his command. And they shall not eat it outside the sanctuary of the Lord, but before the sanctuary of the Lord. Now, that's another one. If you do it, you got to bring your lamb and you got to kill it. You can't go to Walmart and get some lamb. And then you're going to get a piece of lamb from, you don't know where it came from, one piece of lamb. And then you're going to come to the, uh, to the hotel, uh, the hotel uh, conference room or whatever you rent it out. He said, you got to bring the lamb, you got to kill it right at, at, in the evening. As soon as it get ready to get dark, that's when you got to kill it. You got to take the blood and you got to put it on the lintel or the header of your crib and on the side post. Right? So uh, he says, um, eat it in the sanctuary of your power before the Lord from 20 years old and upward. For thus it is written and ordained that they should eat it. And when the children of Israel come into the land which they are to possess to the land of Canaan and set up the tabernacle of the Lord in the midst of the land and one of their tribes until the sanctuary of the Lord has been built in the land let them come and celebrate the Passover in the midst of the tabernacle of the Lord and let them slay it before the Lord from year to year and in the days when the house has been built in the name of the Lord in the land of their inheritance, they shall go there and slay the Passover in the evening. Okay, so he's saying that, you know, before they got into the land, before they built the temple, they set up the tabernacle, you know, and it had the, the shoe bread, the Aaron's rod, the butter, the Ark of the Covenant. All of these specific things had to be in this sanctuary, and they had to have the holy place and the most holy place where the actual physical... Uh, presence of this is the glory the, the, uh, it, it, it came down and met in that place it says and do thou Moses command the children of Israel to observe the ordinance ordinances of the Passover and it was commanded unto thee declare thou unto them every year the day of its days and the festival of unleavened bread that they should eat unleavened bread seven days and that they should observe its festival and that they should bring an oblation every day during those seven days. So they had to sacrifice for seven days of joy before the Lord on the altar of your power. For ye celebrated this festival with haste when ye went forth from Egypt till ye entered into the wilderness of Shur. For on the shore of the sea, he completed it. All right, so y'all bear with me a minute. Because uh, I got to read one more scripture. Okay. Um, it's page 24. We're going to read chapter 6. We're going to start from 20. Matter of fact, start from 15. It says, And he gave Noah and his sons a sign that there should not again be a flood on the earth. He set his bow in the cloud for a sign of the eternal covenant that there should not again be a flood on the earth to destroy it all the days of the earth. For this reason it is ordained and written in the heavenly tablets that they should celebrate the Feast of Weeks in, the, in this month once a year to renew the covenant every year. And this whole festival was celebrated in heaven from the day of creation till the days of Noah. Uh, and his sons observed it for seven jubilees and one week of years. Till the day of Noah's death. And from the day of Noah's death, his sons did away with it until the days of Abraham. And they eat blood, but Abraham observed it. And Isaac and Jacob and his children observe it up to thy days. 
And in thy days the children of Israel forgot it until ye celebrated anew on this mountain. And do thou command the children of Israel to observe this festival in all their generations for a commandment unto them. One day in the year in this month they shall celebrate the festival. For it is the feast of weeks and the feast of first fruits. This feast is twofold and of a jubilee of, of a double nature. According to what is written and engraving concerning it, celebrate it. For I have written in the book of the first law, and that which I have written for thee, that thou shouldest celebrate it in its season, one day in the year, and I explain to thee its sacrifices that the children of Israel should remember and should celebrate it throughout their generations in this month, one day in every year. And on the new moon of the first month, and on the new moon of the fourth month, and on the new moon of the seventh month, and on the new moon of the tenth month are the days of remembrance, the days of the seasons in the four divisions of the years. These are written and ordained as a testimony forever. And Noah ordained them for himself as feasts for generations forever, so that they have become thereby a memorial unto him. And on the new moon of the first month, he was bidden to make for himself an ark. And on the day that the earth became dry, he opened the ark and he saw the earth. And on the new moon of the fourth month, the mouths, the mouths of the depths of the abyss beneath were closed. And on the new moon of the seventh month, all the mouths of the abysses of the earth were open, and the waters began to descend into them. And on the new moon of the tenth month, the tops of the mountains were seen, and Noah was glad. And on this, and on this account, he ordained them for himself as feasts for a memorial forever. And thus they are ordained, and they place them on the heavenly tablets. Each had 13 weeks from one to another past their memorial for the f from the first to the second and from the second to the third and from the third to the fourth. All the days of the commandment will be two and 50 weeks of days. So he's saying this is the order. This is how it's set up is written in the heavenly tablets is 52 weeks of days. So that's 52 times 7. He says, and these will make the entire year complete. Thus, it is engraved and ordained on the heavenly tablets. There is no neglecting this commandment for a single year or from year to year. So you can't you can't go off here, uh, Moses. You can't you can't miss this. It's no neglecting this. He says, and command thou the children of Israel that they observe the years according to this reckoning. So this is what I'm telling you. So you see, this is Moses is in the mount talking with Christ and the angel of the Lord. And they're like, listen, Moses, I'm telling you, you cannot, you cannot miss this because it's unacceptable because this is established in the heavenly tablet. That means this is universal law. So if you veer off of this, there's going to be consequences and repercussions. So he says, and command thou the children of Israel that they observe the years according to this reckoning. 364 days.